a successful marriage is not something that just happens. It takes work and it takes effort. But most importantly, it'll take a commitment from the both of you. So a good marriage must be created. Right now, Daniel and Amanda have invited the groom's sister, Julie, to give the first wedding reading, which comes from the poem, On Love. Julie? Love is a mighty power, a great and complete good. Love alone lightens every burden and makes rough places smooth. It bears every hardship as though it were nothing and renders all bitterness sweet and acceptable. Nothing is sweeter than love, nothing stronger, nothing higher, nothing wider, nothing more pleasant, nothing fuller or better in heaven or earth, for love is born of God. Love flies, runs, and leaps for joy. It is free and unrestrained. Love knows no limits, but ardently transcends all bounds. Love feels no burden, takes no account of toil, attempts things beyond its strength. Love sees nothing as impossible, for it feels able to achieve all things. It is strange and effective, while those who lack love faint and fail. Love is not fickle and sentimental, nor it is intense of vanity. Like a living flame and burning torch, it surges upward and surely surmounts every obstacle. Thank you, Julie. Daniel and Amanda, a marriage ceremony represents one of life's greatest commitments. It's a declaration of love. The two of you come into this marriage now, joining together as husband and as wife, and as you this day affirm your faith and your love for one another, I ask you always to remember, cherish each other, special and unique individuals, and respect the thoughts and the ideas and the suggestions of one another. Be able to forgive and don't hold grudges. And live each day as from this day forward, we shall be each other's home, each other's comfort, and each other's refuge. And your marriage strengthened by your love and most importantly, your respect for one another. I ask you now to look into one another's eyes as you declare your intentions to one another. As I ask you, Daniel and Amanda, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? We yeah. have. And will you love and honor each other as husband and wife for as long as you both shall live? We will. Good answers again. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel and Amanda have now invited their friend and bridesmaid, Christina de Maria, to give the next wedding meeting, which comes from an excerpt from The Bridge Across Forever by Richard Bach. Christine? A soulmate is someone who, lock, who has locks that fit our keys and keys to fit our locks. When we feel safe enough to open the locks, our truest selves step out and we can be completely and honestly who we are. We can be loved for who we are and not for who we're pretending to be. Each unveils the best part of the other. No matter what else goes wrong around us, with that one person, we're safe in our own paradise. Our soulmate is someone who shares our deepest longings, our sense of direction. When we're two balloons and together our direction is up, chances are we've found the right person. Our soulmate is the one who makes life come to life. Thank you, Christine. Daniel and Amanda, you're about to make promises to one another. These vows are words representing your intentions live by these vows over the years, investing your time, and your love, and your commitment to one another. The happy times of your life will be twice as joyous as you're joined together in marriage. Please look into one another's eyes again and repeat after me your wedding vows. Amanda, you won the coin toss. You go first. <laughs> I, Amanda, take you, Dan. I, Amanda, take you, Dan. To be my lawfully wedded husband. Having to hold, having to hold from, this day forward, from this day forward, better or for worse, for better or for worse richer or for poorer, and richer and for poorer and sickness and in health, and in health today, today, tomorrow, tomorrow and forever. And forever. I can't take
Before you exchange wedding rings and I declare your husband and wife, I just want to remind you what I told you from the very beginning. There's only one ingredient in marriage that works better than any other. And you had it from day one of the day. That's left. <coughs> Good times and bad, happy and sad, whatever comes your way, whatever obstacles, whatever cards are dealt you, always remember. Wherever there's laughter. Be loved, so keep on laughing and keep on loving. <laughs> and I leave you with these words to remember from the key to love. The key to love is understanding. The ability to comprehend not only the spoken word, but those unspoken gestures. The little things that say so much by themselves. And the key to love is forgiveness. To accept each other's faults and pardon mistakes without forgetting. Yeah. But remembering what you learned from them. And the key to love is sharing. <coughs> Facing your good fortunes as well as your bad together. And both conquering problems and forever searching for ways to intensify your happiness. And the key to love is giving without thought of return, but with the hope, just a simple smile. And by giving in, and never giving up. And most importantly, the key to love is respect. Realizing that you're two separate people with different ideas, and that you don't belong to each other, you belong with each other. You'll share a mutual bond now as husband and as wife. Inside us all. It takes time and patience to unlock all the ingredients that take you to the special. It's a continual learning process. And it's a lot of work. I'm sure there'll be many more keys that you'll find for yourself. Challenge yourself. See where it takes you. Congratulations. From the earliest of time, the circle has been a symbol unending love. An unbroken and never-ending circle symbolizes a commitment of love that is also never-ending. So as often as either of you look at your wedding rings, may you be reminded of today the love and the commitment that you promised to one another. What do you now give as a symbol of this pledge? Eric, can I have the ring? Eric lost one of the rings earlier. <laughs> oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> what he found was inside the other ring. <laughs> I'll ask you to take that. And I give you this ring. And I give you this ring. It's a symbol of my love for you. It's a symbol of my love for you. My choice to share. My choice to share. My life and dreams with you. My life and I give you this ring. I give you this ring. With the pledge to love you. With the pledge to love you. Today, tomorrow, and always. Today, tomorrow, and always. <clears throat> Dan, I give you this ring. Dan, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love for you. A symbol of my love for you. And my choice to share. And my choice to share. My life and dreams with you. My life and dreams. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. With the pledge to love you. Today, tomorrow, and always. <laughs> Daniel and Amanda, by your free choice, you've made a marriage here today. And no matter what the demands on your lives or your time, the meaning of your living is now known through your love. So nurture each other to fullness and wholeness and renew yourselves in what I know will be a lot of laughter and a lot of love. Maintaining the capacity for wonder spontaneity, humor, and sensitivity. Love each other more deeply and learn to love more fully the creation which the most people are. I 
leave you now with the words of the Irish marriage blessing. May the road rise to meet you, and may the wind always be at your back. May the sunshine warm upon your face, and the rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. May God be with you and bless you, and may you be poor in misfortune, rich in blessings, and may you know nothing of happiness from this day forward. May green be the grass you walk on, may blue be the skies above you, may pure be the joys that surround you, and may true be the parts that love you. God bless you. Now light at the end of the ceremony. I'll ask the both of you to come right back. I'll ask you both to take your individual candle. Together light the center candle. Mother Nature's not cooperating. <laughs> This gathering of family and friends, Daniel and Amanda have promised each other their undying love and have exchanged rings to wear as a sign of their everlasting commitment to one another. How invested to be, it gives me great pleasure to pronounce once again, you are husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <coughs> pleasure to introduce to you those of you who weren't there the first time, those of you the second time, for the very first time today, <laughs> Dr. and Mrs. Daniel and Amanda Roxbury. Yeah. 